بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته my name is Asher Shah on behalf of Mercy for Mankind we are here to have a grown up discussion about the recent viral video called Happy British Muslims for many of you you have seen this for those that haven't you're probably seeing the the hype around it and a lot of the talks and discussions. Uh, well, right now it's probably reaching over a million views within just a few days, and uh, this is great, uh, especially for the producers. Uh, but we're here to have a grown-up discussion with actually one of the sisters who was in the video, Kifa Shah, joining us all the way from England. Assalamualaikum, sister. Very glad that you were able to join us for this interview because there's a lot of talk, and you know why not go back to the source um, yourself and the producers to ask them some questions about the intentions of this, and then. The, their re the reaction that is coming from it as well, you know, um, to start, I mean, uh, you know, how were you approached with this? I mean, did somebody come to you and, and, and talk to you about, uh, you know, being in this video? Did they give you a background? Tell me about it briefly. So the team behind the whole project is anonymous. So what we all received was an anonymous email <laughs> from uh, the honesty policy. And we were asked um, about a month ago, I was asked to join the project. And it was just really simple about whether or not we wanted to redo Pharrell's video and a Muslim version of it in England. And I was very excited about it. So I joined. So you're out there and, uh, and you get an anonymous email that, you know, some producers want to remake that. So you, you're like, okay, this is, I mean, what ran through your mind? Is this like a Dawa opportunity? You know, what happened? Well, actually, so for me personally, I, um, I'm a California girl. And I think that California culture is really, like, at least I feel like they're really happy people. And when I came to England, um, in London, I just noticed it's a different culture. Um, you know, usually you'll walk by so many people um, and you'll walk by at least one Muslim in every eight people is like the statistic these days, how many Muslims are in London. And they're not really smiling. It's not because they're not happy. It's just because that's the culture, right? So I thought, well, this is a great way of creating community um, around you and making like this other sort of image of how British people in general, and especially British Muslims, are happy people. <laughs> so that's why I wanted to join it. Okay, awesome. I mean, it, it, it seemed fair enough. It seems simple enough and innocent enough. Were you really expecting some type of backlash from the community? Did you see this coming? I did not expect. I mean, everybody, I, I expect to have critiques maybe of it but I didn't expect such a backlash in terms of um, you know moral arguments uh, I thought that the video was really benign and its content is you know really genuine and sincere um, my intentions you know there's actions are by intentions and my intentions were really clear I thought it was I thought it was just sort of a prophetic message anyway inshallah that you know spreading a smile is <laughs> sunnah so I, that was why I joined it. And I, and I didn't expect people to be so upset with it, to be honest. I mean, were you surprised at the, the volume of views that it got? Because it spread very quickly. And there's a, not only views, but massive amounts of comments on this thing. I mean, did you see that happening? Did the producers see that happening? Uh, I'm, you know, I'm sure there's speculation from both sides. I don't think that I, I didn't expect it to go viral. I did, I did think people would see it, and I thought at least a lot of um, Londoners and British people would see it, but I didn't think it would be this big because it's about a million views now in a few days. Alhamdulillah. Um, and I don't know. I think that, you know, there's no success without God, so Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Ultimately, it's all Qadr, right? It happened for a reason, uh, which brings me to my next point. So um, this, this can be considered a form of dawah, which is Islamic outreach. Um, you know, in, in the sense of like character and in what Muslims are meant to be happy and so on, um, especially with the current environment and the opinion of Muslims. So do you feel that this was an effective uh, form of dawah? If so, how, how was it an, uh, effective to the audience? Well, I it's an effective form of dawah, but see, this is the thing too. There's so many people who are participating in the video. Um, it's, it's, I wouldn't want to speak for everyone to say that that was why they did it, you know, but I think that no matter what, anything that Muslims do in public these days, whether it's in a video or not, it's a form of dawah. 
And so um, we should just be, you know, aware of that in general. Um, and it doesn't require you to be on a video to make others happy and to do, you know, with with sincere intention. But for me, I think it is a good use, uh, I mean, a good tool for Dawa in general. I have so many people who are not Muslim that are my friends that have been so excited to see me in the video and posting it on my wall and putting it on their Facebooks. And they're not, they're not people who are Muslim, but are very um, happy for our community in a sense. They're in solidarity with how we're happy. And, um, and I've heard a lot of things, uh, you know, in terms of, um, different discourse that emerges, not just in terms of whether it's halal or not, but also in terms of, you know, the politics behind it. And I think, you know, that, that those types of critiques, I actually didn't anticipate that, but I do appreciate that um, people who are not usually engaging with the Muslim community, even if it's Muslims themselves, are benefiting from it, right? And so when we talk about dawah, it's not simply about who we're reaching out to outside of our community, but also within our own community, the people who feel isolated from it, right? And so right. I have a lot of friends who also aren't necessarily the ones who like regularly go to the masjid that are so happy to see this video and feel sort of a part of it now. Um, and that's the beauty of it. So, so the question is, right, so you mentioned, for example, you know, everything is dawah. So some people are making the argument that, for example, you know, it's very questionable to have, uh, you know, music or, or, you know, women or even men for that matter, you know, dancing very publicly. And that was the method that was used in it. You know, so they're saying that, you know, the ends don't justify the means. A lot of people were reached. Was, was this the proper way to do it? I mean, what is your response to these type of comments? I mean, I respect their opinions. Everybody has the right to their, their you know, opinion. I think in terms of like, when we talk about Sharia and like, the jurisprudence aspect of it. I mean, I leave that to the fuqaha. I don't really know that much about um, the rulings on these things. Uh, I, I mean, as far as I know, uh, my part in it, I, inshallah, if it wasn't um, wrong. But um, I didn't see anything wrong with the video overall, to be honest. I think it's um, uh, it's like it's got a lot of families in it. It's got couples in it. Um, it's just got young children, all ages. It really shows like the diversity in the community here. Um, and I think that when people have issues with it, that's, that's totally their right. Um, but I just sort of, um, you know, you take the good and you leave the rest. Usually. Right. So, right. I mean, do you feel that there's validity behind these comments? Because, I mean, people are, they're obviously, I mean, even though that sometimes it's not the best form, but like you have normal people coming out and, and giving hadith and Quranic ayahs, for example, mostly hadith that, that support their argument in this, um, I mean, it, like, how do, you, how do you counter that when somebody's like kind of throwing a hadith at you that, hey, this is why we feel this is wrong? Well, yeah, I mean, is Facebook necessarily the best forum to use when you're trying to seek Islamic knowledge? Probably not. And also, there's probably a better way and, you know, there's etiquette that you use when you, when you do have grievances with something. And I don't think that that's really being displayed. And at the end of the day, when you think about it, um, the whole... If you read what the honesty policy, the group that, you know, put out the video has written about their intentions, I think it's kind of clear that they're trying to take it back to the basics, right? And so if we as a community don't even know how to deal with each other and to speak to each other, then what are we really doing and what do we really know? Um, so you can talk to me about all of the, you know, the hadith that you want to, but are you engaging with me in a prophetic manner in the first place? Mm, that, that make a very good point because maybe the the facts that they're presenting are very valid because in fact they're I mean they're they're quoting scholars and and major major uh, people of, of wealth have a wealth of knowledge when it comes to this. Uh, however, sometimes the etiquette lacks, so therefore the the you know the 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 message is lost in the in the medium. So that you know that brings to the next point. I mean, is the is it the method? in which they're delivering it, which is wrong, or is it the actual arguments that they're making? I don't really know if I can say, like, anyone, I, I mean, I don't want to sit here and say who's wrong and who's right, but what I do want to say is that isn't it a beautiful thing that all of us seem to have so much to learn from each other, right? And if that's what this video is bringing, is some sort of a dialogue, some sort of a conversation, and particularly amongst our own community, then I think, alhamdulillah, you know, at least it's, um, starting a conversation. And I always think, you know, um, if we can start 
I mean, to be honest, like, let's, let's be real. Some of the stuff that's been happening, like the halal version that you see that came out, it was mostly just like the omission of women. And then it was considered halal. Do I agree with that? I don't agree with that. Um, do I, um, do I, however, really think that, yeah, I'm really concerned about whether there is something wrong or not. I would like to know, know that. Because if I was ever doing something wrong and I was in my in my faith, I would definitely want to know. But um, but again, I just think the manner in which uh, people are being approached uh, is not really the best. Um, and um, as far as who's wrong and who's right, I'm I don't think I'm the one to be able to say that. <laughs> but I do. I think that the video is um, out of like a pure intention and a really beautiful endeavor. I do. And I think 100 percent, it's um, it's a good video. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, the production value was definitely very high, and there's definitely um, there's definitely arguments on both sides, and the the whole purpose of of what we're doing here is to show that there is a way to dialogue on this topic, even if you know, in the end, we look back and we say, "Wow, you know what? You know, there were some backdrops," or the other side says, "You know, maybe we were a little bit pushy." You know, at least the dialogue was begun, and it was it was had in an, in a healthy manner because the the sad thing. You know, to to bring to light is the fact that we would uh, spend so long arguing when we could be spending that time working together on a common good, like you mentioned, to to address the concerns of the youth. You know, and if the 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 concerns of the youth aren't being met, or the fact that our people are dying overseas, and we're not, you know, taking our time to actually dedicate some some efforts towards that, and most of our time is spent, you know, proving each other wrong, then we've totally missed the the. Uh, the message of Islam, the beautiful message of Islam, which is to help humanity, and uh, that's what we're here for. So uh, I want to thank you again. If there's any uh, last words you'd like to leave for our audience, you know, I'd love to hear them. Well, I appreciate you talked about the youth and just all the work that we do have to do as a community because part of what you see in this video is that the participants themselves are all from various backgrounds and they also are from different organizations and so it was a coming together and it is a bridging sort of project and so to me I just feel like um, our community is just ever growing constantly and it's dynamic right we have so much to offer and so many types of individuals to do the type of work that we need and you always have to have people I believe that you have to have soldiers in every place you know what I mean you can't just expect everybody to do everything the same and um, and so for me I just think this video is a reflection of how much potential we have as a people um, so inshallah there's barakah in it and inshallah it benefits people but yeah alhamdulillah thank you for having me no, I agree 100%. Thank you so much for being on. I, I agree with you. We should have workers in every place from different perspectives because there's different people that need to be reached with different mediums. And uh, I pray that we can continue this dialogue and inshallah come together um, as one body. Jazakallah khair. Thank you everybody for listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.